Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Okay, great. Okay, great. Happy to start my classes again. Hey. Hi, Gloria. Hi, good night. Yeah, okay. All friends, all, all friends, all friends. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's good. Okay, good. How's everything? Fine. Okay, we're just gonna give a couple of seconds more to see how many more people logs in. Okay, we have 13, good. Okay. Google. Google. Edith. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, my name is Oscar. How are you? Good, good, Oscar. Fine, my name is Luis Avellan. You can call, you can call me Luis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. Hello, how are you? Oh, hello, Carmina. Good night. Good evening, good evening. Good how, evening. <laughs> how are you today? Fine, thank you, and you? Oh, great, happy to be here. After, oh, good. Yeah, after three, three weeks without classes, I feel nice today, energetic. That's okay. great. Yes, that's good. Okay, good. Let me see because I, I need to give you some information, but I don't know how many more will. Right now we have like 14 people in the class. Okay. Now there's another one. Well. Let's the one we have. Okay, guys. Well, I think uh, well, we're going to get started because time is running. Okay, good. Well, my name is Luis Avellan. Okay. Uh, welcome to, to the pre intermediate. This is the model of those, right? That you're going to, to start today. I guess that. You have already uh, studied together before, I guess, that some of you know each other, okay? And probably there are some others that might be new in this group. Okay, uh, I just have some uh, information that I'd like to give you about the course that this week, okay, we are starting on Tuesday, okay? Uh, but usually this course starts on Mondays, right? So we have four classes a week, okay? So usually it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So four days for four weeks. But this week is going to be different, okay? We're going to have uh, classes Tuesday, today, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, okay? But on Friday, only this week, okay? Next week is going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, okay? But we have to complete the four classes per week. That's why we are going to have one more class this, I mean, classes on Friday, okay? 
but then we go back to the normal schedule, okay? Monday through uh, Thursday. Okay, this is one thing. The other thing that is very important, and I like you to, and I would like to push you to motivate you to, is to work on the platform, right? You know that the platform you get the the access, and there are a lot of exercises. In those exercises, there might be some uh, topics, some grammar structures, some vocabulary that probably you find it easy. Okay, and then you can. And then you can, you know, uh, probably go faster than the class. So if you feel that you can go at that pace, at that, uh, let's say the speed, no problem. Okay, don't stop. Okay, but if you have questions or doubts about that material that you are uh, that you are uh, doing, that you are working on, then after you can come to the class and ask me questions. Okay. And then probably we can share that experience with the class. Okay, so don't worry about, don't try to follow the same step of the class. Because remember that there is, there are a lot of activities to do. And we only have 16 days, 16 classes. And you have to complete uh, exercises. There are two exams, okay, the midterm and the final exam. And then you have to go faster so that you can continue with the, with the other level. And then, uh, and you have to complete the 80% at least of the activities and you get an 80, okay? To 80% to pass to the next level, okay? So that's what I'm going to, uh, not to be doing in this class, it's just to give you a hand to help you with grammar structures, explanations, vocabulary, pronunciation. Okay, so don't be afraid, don't be shy. Ask questions, okay? It's important to ask questions. If you have a doubt, express it, right? Say it here in the class, in the class that you can, the teacher, I need to know this, I don't know how to say this, or, or why, why, do they, why do I have to say this? Okay, and I will try to give you a, an explanation. Okay, what else? Uh, any questions? Any other doubt that you have at this moment? No. no. Okay, basically, that's the the information that I have. Right, first uh, the classes of this week that will be until Friday only this week, and then you know to to work on the platform. Okay, to motivate you to do that, and uh, to, again to to congratulate you and give you a, a welcome to, to this course, okay? And I hope that you know that you learn as much as you expect, okay, in these 16 days, okay? So I will try to, you know, to do my best, you know, to, to help you learn. And as I told you before, but uh, I will need your help, okay? And your help is, uh, your participation, you're going to help me participate in. You're going to help me asking questions, okay, and probably or, or giving opinions, not only asking questions, sharing your experience, okay, probably you know something that is important for the class, okay, so you can also share that kind of experience, right, that, that we all can uh, Let's say enjoy and learn something from that. All right, so then uh, let's get started because we have a lot of material to to see, right? And check. And let me see here. Okay, this is print from the two, right? Sorry. <clears throat> okay, here. Uh, let's see here. Oscar, can you do me a favor, please? Would you please read the uh, objective here? Having some issues, I guess, with uh, with the internet. Oh, I don't know if it is mine. 
Okay, Gloria, can you read, please? Wait, Oscar, let me see. Gloria, can you read this? Um, okay. Be the end of this, this session, you will learn how to have an outward question, use it, outward of frequency. Of frequency, right? Okay, good. Uh, who remembers? Or who can help me and tell me what is an adverb of frequency? I guess that you remember, right? Remember, adverb frequency. Those things that we do constantly. Uh -huh. Uh, teacher, when we use the, uh, how, for example, when or need explain to how often go to uh, to the park, for example. Exactly, Carmina. Thank you very much. Very good. Okay, guys, we have a new teacher now. Carmina is going to teach from now on. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Exactly, Carmina, right? So they say, how often do we do things? How often do you take a shower? How often do you uh, drink soda? How often do you go to the park? Okay, how often do you take a shower? I always take a shower on Sundays, okay? They say, I always... I never take a shower on Monday, okay? I usually, I usually drink, no, I sometimes, I sometimes drink soda, okay? Not always. Okay, so then here you see, for example, frequency adverbs, okay? This is just for you to remember, to refresh your memory, okay? And bring back all those, uh, Pre, all that previous knowledge, okay, that you already have. Okay, let's see. Adverse of frequency. Okay, you have some others. Wait, let me see if we are sharing the sound. No. It is. Session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using. I frequently. Okay, can you listen? Yes. Is the, sound, is the sound okay? Is the sound okay? Hi everyone. In this yes. session, we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverse of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest, or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. 
Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Learn how to ask and answer questions. End of this session, you will learn. Okay, now you already familiarize, okay, with the material and the topic. Okay, now listen again and now pay attention to two things. First, the vocabulary or expressions, right? And second, the pronunciation, okay? Pronunciation and intonation of questions and sentences, okay? And then after we're going to practice. Learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Okay. Okay, from here. Always. Okay, from here. Do you have any questions about vocabulary or expressions from, let's say, from this, from this exercise? No? Uh, teacher, hardly ever. Hardly ever is like, all, do you know almost? Uh, no. Almost is, for example, that, well, hardly ever is, if you see the, the let's say the levels here, never mm -hmm. is zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever. Never will be like, is nothing. Uh, uh, never is nothing. A little bit. Uh, no. Hardly no. ever no. will be like, no. wait, wait, like 20%. Okay. A little mm -hmm. more. Okay, for example, uh, something that I hardly ever do is I hardly ever watch uh, soap operas, uh -huh. okay? novelas. I okay. hardly ever. Only El Señor de los Cielos is the only one. <laughs> okay, then no, okay. Mo no more. So hardly ever. Okay, almost never. Almost never. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then sometimes. Then sometimes it's like 30, 40 percent. Often is more more frequently, mm -hmm. then usually is more frequently, and then you have always, okay? So always, okay, thank you. usually, often, sometimes, have you ever and ever, in that level. Okay, good. Okay. Once a week is only one time, one time in the week, okay? Once a week, should be one day in a week. I play soccer once a week on Sunday, 
okay? I, I rest once a week um, on Friday, okay? But it's only one time. Twice, two times, okay? Two times, twice. Once, one time, twice, two times, then three times, four times, five times, okay? Let me see what else. Do you ever? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes. If at least one time in the week, watch TV. For example, do you ever go to the, let's say, do you ever go to the beach? They say, yes, I go to the beach when I have vacations, okay? When I have money. Do you ever go to the movies? Uh, no, I never go to the movies. I better watch Netflix. Okay? Do you ever watch Netflix? You can say, hey, yes, I watch Netflix every day. Okay, so these are, you know, different ways to know how often we do something. Okay, the other one is, the other important thing here that we have to emphasize. Sentence. Never, never. We help to know the position of the adverse of the position, right? Remember that is pronoun I, you, he, she, we, you, they. And then you're going to use the frequency adverb. Never, always, hardly ever, usually, okay, often. Then the verb and then the complement, right? For example, he never listened to me. He never listens uh, to his mother. Okay. He never goes to the mountain. Okay. If you see, you only substitute. Okay. You only paraphrase. You replace this word for others. He never, okay, uh, he never eats, uh, he never eats vegetable. Okay, uh, let me see, for example, Hugo, what is something that you never do? I never. Uh, I never, uh, I never, uh, I never, I never play swim. soccer. Repeat, Hugo, please. Huh? I, ne I never swim. Okay, I never swim in the swim. I never play soccer. I never play soccer, okay. I never, I never swim in the swim, swimming pool. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me see, Dennis. What is something that... Uh, Oscar, the Hugo, sorry, never does. Hugo? He, uh -huh. he, he never play. Uh, he, said, he said something about the water. What did Hugo say? I never swim in the swimming. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay. I never. He met, he? I never, uh, I never he, he never swim, he, he never, never swim, play. he never swims, swim, he, he swim. never swim. Okay, so this is, you know, like when you listen to what, what person says, and after you are going to tell, to report what the other person never does. Okay, suppose I say, I never, I never eat, uh, let's say I never eat, let me see, uh, fruit. Okay, Nati, you can say Luis. Hello, Nati. Teacher. Uh, yes. Never. Teacher. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He never around a bicycle? Who? 
Teacher, he never listen me. Yes, I can. Ah, Oscar. Ah, Oscar. Okay. Ah, Oscar. Yes. He never wrong a bicycle. He never rides. He never rides a bicycle. He never rides. A rides. Bicycle. Uh huh. He never rides a bicycle. Okay. Okay. Good. He never rides a bicycle. They can say Oscar never rides a bicycle. Okay. 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 Remember. Oscar, Oscar okay. never rides a bicycle. Well, you can say I never ride a bicycle. Let me see. Let me show you something. Okay. Here, text. Okay, when you say, for example, I never ride a bicycle. Is it correct? Yes. I yes. never visit my friend. Okay, if you see that sentence, I never ride a bicycle. Who says that? ¿Quién lo dice? Oscar says. Oscar. 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 Okay. Oscar. If you wait. If you change. If you change this sentence with the name of Oscar. Yeah. Okay. What would be the correct form? He never rides a bicycle. Okay. He never. Uh -huh, never rides a bicycle. Rides a bicycle. Okay, good. Okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna change the spelling here. Okay, bicycle, and then we have here Santa. and then Oscar. Never ride a bicycle. Here, this is. This, that's what we get okay there. Look how we change the pair. Uh -huh. Okay. Right <coughs> and right. Okay. Oscar never writes a bicycle. bicycle. Okay. Okay. Then if we change Oscar for a pronoun, we say he. Never. Okay. Don't, uh, don't forget to turn off your microphones. Eh, no se lo olvide para los micrófonos para si no están participando para que no nos interrumpa, ¿ok? He never rides a bicycle, ¿ok? So here we change the right. Oscar said, ah, I never ride a bicycle. Okay, Oscar never rides a bicycle. He, Oscar, never rides a bicycle. Okay, that is the way you have to see that sometimes we always go, you hardly ever swim. Okay, but you will change the bear if you are using he, she, or it. Remember that a simple present, right? Okay, another example. One more, one volunteer. One volunteer. I, I, uh -huh. I always go to, go to the, to the work. I always, I always go. Go. To work. Work. Okay, this is Ugo. Okay. Then what would be the sentence if we use Ugo? Ugo always. Uh -huh. Ugo always. Goes. What? Goes. Okay, goes to work. The words. Okay. Words. Ugo always goes to work. Okay, and we say he 
always go goes to work. There you go. Okay, see the changes, right? The difference. When we are talking about us, we say I, I, I. If we are talking about another person, we're going to use he or she. I okay. always driver. I always driver. I always drive to work. Okay. Yes. Then we say Gloria. Mm -hmm. Always. Always what? Laura always. Always. Right. Drive. 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 Drive to work. Drive. Drive to work. Okay. Or we can also say she. She always. She always drives to work. Okay, so these are the difference, right, and ways that we can use it. And we can use always, instead of always, we can also use a usually. A, we can change here, Gloria often drives to work. No, always, right, often. Uh, you can say also. Teacher, teacher uh, uh, for example, uh, Gloria uh, never drives uh, to work. Okay, Gloria never, never drives to work. Okay, you can say she always. Gloria always flies to work. Okay, she has a she has a helicopter, right? Then yes. Okay, so you see, you can always change uh, the verbs, the the frequency adverbs. Always, usually, never, often. Okay, depending on your on your needs, right? And also about the about the context. Okay, just to be... Okay, here we go. Frequency in a sentence. Subject plus frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Okay, good. So then. Okay, now uh, we are 15 people. Okay, good. So we have, now we're going to, uh, to go to the breakout rooms. Okay, and you are going to practice questions. Okay, how often and do you ever? Okay, how often and do you ever? Okay, how often do you? Uh, how often do you eat pupusas? How do you? How often do you cook? Uh, how often do you 
practice your English. Okay, and then you're going to use in the answer. I always pra I practice English every day. Uh, I never practice English in my house. Okay, you are going to ask the question, two questions. How often do you and do you ever? And in your answers, you're gonna use every day, usually, never, sometimes, uh, hardly ever, depending on your, uh, let's say on your activities or how often you do something, okay? So I'm gonna make seven groups. There will be like two or three people in each group, okay? And then I will visit each group to see if you have any questions or just to listen what you are practicing. Okay, here we go. Hello, Hazel. I don't know if you want to go to one of the groups. Huh? I often eat pupusa. I often. How often? How often? Do you eat pupusas? Do you eat pupusa? Uh, I I never I never I never to eat pupusa. I never eat pupusas. I never eat pupusa. Hola. Never. Hola. Only t-shirt. Okay, uh -huh. look look at the chat. Okay. I never eat pupusa. How often do you eat pupusas? I never eat pupusas. Okay. Ask more questions. How often do you ever Teacher, I, 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 um, ¿cómo se le dice? Y solo esos, esos hay que, hay que conjugar o. Yes, uh, how often? Oh, when? 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 Uh -huh. For example, when do you? When do you go? When do you go to? When do you go to? Let's say to Mexico. Okay. When you go to Mexico, they say I never go to Mexico, or I usually go to Mexico, or I often go to Mexico. Depending, right? So you can use how often do you ever? When do you go? Okay, and in, the, in your answer, you can say, I usually, I never, I sometimes, okay. For example, how often do you go to Santa Ana, Stanley? How often do you go to Santa Ana? Uh, how often? Um, I hardly ever. I hardly ever go to Santa Ana. Correct. I hardly ever go to Santa Ana. I sometimes go to Santa Ana. I never go to Santa Ana. Right? Yes. I always. I always. 
what is on the house. Okay. Brenda, how often do you cook in your house? Excuse me. How often do you cook? I, I, all, I always. How I I always cook, cook in your house? In my house. Uh, I always cook in my house. <laughs> I always cook in my house. Okay. <laughs> yes. That's right. Who would cook? Who would you cook? <laughs> huh? What? How often do you cook? I I always I always cook. I always I always, I always cook in my house. In my house. Okay, very good. Okay, so you can ask questions later. Okay, continue. Okay, okay continue practicing. Okay, very good. Okay. I sometimes go to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, keep on, keep on practicing. Don't stop. How often do you ever? Okay. Harley, how often do you cook in your house? Um, I I could. I always could. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I. Well, como se dice, casi siempre. Casi siempre. Almost always. Uh, usually, you can say usually. I usually. Um, uh, I usually cook chicken. Okay, I usually cook chicken. Okay, very good. And Daniel, how often do you wash the dishes? Or do you do the dishes? Repeat, please. How often do you do, or how often do you wash the dishes? The, the, no le escucho muy bien, the, how often do you wash the dishes? Or how often do you do the dishes? Never, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you don't wash the dishes after eating, Daniel? I, I always wash the dishes. The dishes. Yes. Okay, at least, see, huh? Yes, he does. Always. In, always, in, always. In, always, in, in the night. Oh, always. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you see, no. Se, se, se gana la cena. Así, ¿Eh? co co colaborador. <laughs> yes, yes, that's good, good. Okay, Wilfredo, how often, how often do you eat vegetables? Wilfredo, Wilfredo disappeared. Okay. Then uh, remember that you can use questions. Can you see the chat? Questions like how often? Okay. Okay, thank you. Yes, how often? You can use when. For example, when do you, when do you visit your mother? When do you visit your parents? When do you visit your family? Then you can say, I, I always visit. Ah, okay. My my mother. Uh huh. I always visit my mother. I visit my mother every week. I visit my mother every Sunday. Okay. So you yeah. can continue practicing those questions. Okay. So you have a lot, a lot of uh, different uh, kind of questions you can ask. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, how often do you watch TV? Sorry. How how often do you watch TV? I watch TV uh, sometimes in the night. Sometimes, okay. 
Like something I, like. I, I, I watch TV every day. Uh, weekend. Okay. okay. I watch TV every day. Okay, very good. Okay, those are the questions. You can say, when do you visit? When do you visit your parents? When do you visit your mother? When do you visit your father? Okay, when do you when do you when do you travel? When do you travel to other countries? Okay, I never travel to other countries. I sometimes travel to Guatemala, I sometimes travel to Honduras. Uh, how often or do you ever do you ever go to the United States? Say, well, I go I hardly ever go to the United States. I go to the United States once a year. Why go to the United States twice a year? Remember, once, twice, three times. Okay, continue practicing. Okay, okay. okay. put in practice the vocabulary. Okay. okay, okay, very good. Okay, okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. No, era, era siempre. Never, nunca. era nunca. Uh -huh. O no. Yes. Yes. Never, era nunca. Ever, ever. No, no. Ever, uh -huh. ever. Es siempre. Y no. never, en nunca. No, ever is, no. In, this kind of, in this kind of question, esa pregunta es, alguna vez. Alguna, alguna vez. vez. Do you ever. Ah, entonces, entonces yo puedo decir, do you ever go to the gym? Exactly. Ah. ¿Va usted alguna vez al gimnasio? No, yes, I go to the gym once a year. Okay. Mm. I go to the gym uh, twice a week, three times a week. Every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you ever? How often is que tan seguido? Juan a menudo? Right? Uh, you can also use when do you? When do you visit your mother? When do you visit your father? When do you travel to other countries? Well, I travel to the United States in December once a year. Okay, I travel to Mexico twice a month. I go to Guatemala or I travel to Guatemala once a year, once a month, twice a year. Okay? You can practice all those words. Other questions? Uh, in the example, mm -hmm. uh, it says, how often do you exercise mm -hmm. is is correct because yeah. i think is do you do exercise also that too is correct okay, how often do you do effort or oh, how often both is correct both are acceptable yes okay mm -hmm. for example how often do you cook in your house uh, i cook every day i cook every day right I usually cook okay, in my house. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how often do you how often do you play any sports? Um I never play sports. Never play sports, okay. Cooking is a sport. <laughs> no, it's not true. <laughs> okay. No, it's my passion. Yeah, okay. I see. <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. Football is a passion. Uh -huh. Cooking is a passion, so it's work. You can consider that as work. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Edith, how often do you go? Do you go dancing? I never. Uh -huh. I never go to dance, dance. I never go dance. Very good. Okay. You see. You see. I never. Or how often do you? Let's say. Uh, how often do you go to the movies? I usually go to the movies um, uh, once a month. Perfect. Okay, that's a good answer. Okay, very good. Okay, okay continue Thank practicing. You. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We have.
con los, una con las otras sería I usually drive to work. Okay. I usually drive to go, to go or solo to work? To go to work. To go. Yo usualmente manejo por tu work quizás sería. Okay. I usually drive ¿Qué dice to work. Teacher? Hello. Estamos bien. Yes, yes, Hello, yes. I usually, I usually drive to work. I usually drive to work. Okay, um, uh, for example, uh, other example, is I go to the supermarket once a week. I go to the supermarket once a week. I never study English. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> for example. Ah, okay, okay. For example. Okay. Uh, example, yes. See, uh, okay. For example, is Angel, I never study English. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, <laughs> Angel never study English. I never studied English. It's true. Is it uh, true, Angel? No, uh, I don't believe. Uh, for, I don't example believe. Is, for example, Marisa go to the supermarket once day a week? Yes, uh -huh. once a week. Once a Marit week? Yes, Marisa go to the supermarket once a week. Once a week. Marisa okay. goes to the supermarket once a week. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, Oscar, how often do you cook in your house? Uh, I cook. I cook always in my house. I always remember. I always cook. I always cook in my house. I always cook in my house. Okay, good. Uh, Maritza, how often do you do you go? Let's say, do you visit? How often do you visit your parents or your family? I I I hardly ever I hardly ever visit. visit to my family. Visit my family. Okay, good. Angel, when do you travel to other countries? When, when do you travel? When do you travel to other countries? Hello? Mexico, Guatemala, uh, Argentina. When? I, I never travel uh, okay. a country. to other countries. Very good. Okay. I never travel to other countries. Okay. Very nice, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, the chair. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. We're going to go back. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. Everybody's back. Okay, uh, do you have any questions about the, the use of the questions? When do you, how often do you ever? Okay, no questions? I don't know. No, uh, not this. Uh, okay. I don't know. Okay. Oh, very well. Okay, and remember that you can, well, there are some others, but in this case, or in this moment, I guess that this is sufficient, right, to, or enough to practice the vocabulary. The idea uh, with these exercises, always remember, uh, is to practice the vocabulary that you learn in other levels, right? To keep your English uh, going on, to keep a conversation going on, right? Because in that way, this is how we practice, this is how we learn a language, right? Practice it. Okay, if you, because if you don't practice that uh, vocabulary that you learned before, then there is a moment that you forget, okay? That's why in, in English they say, use it or lose it. Okay, lo que no se usa, se pierde. Okay, if you don't use the vocabulary, 
Okay, you couldn't use the vocabulary that you have learned in previous uh, levels, then little by little you will forget, okay? But if you practice every day, in this case, when you are in the breakout rooms, it's a good opportunity to practice, right? And, okay, for example, how do you ever, do you ever uh, cook in your house? Do you ever wash the dishes? Uh, do you ever run errands? Uh, do you ever, uh, oh, for example, you can say, uh, how often do you ride a motorcycle? How often do you change the wheel for the tire of your car? Okay, this is vocabulary that you can uh, practice every day, right? And these are activities that you do every day, okay? So when we are in the, break, in the breakout rooms, it's a good opportunity to ask me questions, practice vocabulary, and I, and I want to congratulate you because in all the groups, when I visited the groups, you were working, okay? And you were practicing in English, okay? So that's, okay. The, that's the attitude. I mean, it's the attitude, right? I mean, practice. Thank you. The teacher not here, then let's speak Spanish. Hagamos fiesta, right? No. You were yeah. practicing English and no I got it back. Congratulations. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm happy for that, okay? Good. Okay. Now, let me see. We have some minutes to check here. Uh, the knowledge check, right? So we're going to do it together here. But you're going to do it. I'm going to be your secretary in this moment. It says, instructions, read the following prompts. Choose the response in which the adverb in brackets and place is placed correctly. OK? Do you play sports? Which one is correct? We use ever. Do you ever play sports? Ever do you play sports? Do you play sports ever? First, second, or third? Which one is correct? First. The first? first. This one? Yes. Yes? yes. OK, we'll see. Do you ever play? Sports. Do you ever play sports? What about number two? Sure, I play soccer twice a week. First, second, sure, I twice a week play soccer. Twice a week, sure, I play soccer. Or sure, sure I. Mm -hmm. sure sure is, I play soccer twice a week. The last one? Yes. 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 Usually, do, do on Saturday, Monday, Sunday, usually. Saturday, Monday. Usually, what usually do you on Sunday morning? Three. The number three? Three. Number three. Why the number three? Yes. Number three. Why the number three? Number three. No. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> it, it appears. No, first? no. Not. Yes. The first. No, first. Yes. No, teacher, wow. what do you do? do usually, Saturday. Teacher, it's the, it's the first. What do you do? First. You, yes. do you usually it's the do first. on the phone there? On the... First. This one. First. 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 The first. Why, why the first one? First teacher. Be Best teacher. Because it's a question. And what do you? One teacher. Uh -huh. There is the frequency. One. And complement. Okay. What do you usually do on Saturday, Monday? Okay, good. Alexia, number four. Uh, the second. No, okay, almost always. Nothing much. I sleep until noon almost always. Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. The second. Yes. The second. Yes. Okay. 
Do you do aerobics at the gym? Second. Second. Do you often? Do you often? Uh -huh. Okay, number six. Do I no. do a, no I do a oh. Number three. Uh, no. One. I, I every ever I do a home. Is it three? The, yes. The three. three. No, I hardly ever do aerobics. The third one. Yes. The third one. Number three. seven. Okay. Number seven. Plus seven. Do you? As the first. Yes. Do you always right on the south? The, the first. 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 Okay. first. Two. The second one. No, first. No, the first. The first. People, what do you think? First. 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 Okay. Number eight. First. Eight. First. Two. Uh, two. Second. No, I no. never ever had second. 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 Okay. Yes. Number nine. First. 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 What do you usually do after class? Yes. The number ten. Three. I go out with my classmates Three. about the time Mm-hmm. Here. Mm-hmm. Uh, number three. The third. I go our yes, way. Yes. About three times a week. Yes. Okay. Good. Now let's see the answers. Okay. Number ten is correct. Nine is correct. Eight is correct. Seven is correct. Six is correct. Five. Four. Really good. Two. Excellent people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is what I call teamwork. Okay. Yeah. okay ten points. Good. Yes. <laughs> ten, ten points for each. Ten points okay. for the group. Yes. Ten okay. points for each. Okay. Para cada uno. Okay. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Now I will submit. Este un día para mí. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, people, so uh, we're going to stop here, okay, because uh, almost time, and we will connect tomorrow. Uh, I usually have another class before this one, from uh, 8, from 8 to 9, so then I will probably connect one or two minutes, so at 9, 1 or 9, 2, okay? So the, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, and, and I forgot, and I also forgot to tell you at the okay. beginning that in case, okay, in case I disconnect sometimes, it's because of the internet uh, failure, right? Que falla el internet. Pero no se muevan que yo regreso, right? Uh, okay. I have another way to I use the cell phone or something. Okay. So in case the in case that happens, okay, so que eso sucede. Okay. So have okay. a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. It was a pleasure okay. to meet you. See you tomorrow. Dear. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.